Well, guess what? It's time for another round of the truth or myth game. Check out these facts you've known since childhood and try to figure out which of them are actual facts and which are no more than popular misconceptions. Zombies are not made up. True. Okay, we as humans can't turn into ones as we see in movies, but the animal kingdom has its zombies. For instance, one type of fungus takes over ants with specific chemicals. Something changes in the ant brain, so it leaves its family to fulfill a special mission. Finding some special branch or leaf where the fungus sprouts out of it and then releases spores back into the world. Bats are blind. Not true at all. The myth probably comes from the fact that they're nocturnal creatures and have extraordinary hearing abilities. They hunt mostly when it's dark and rely on a thing called echolocation, just like whales. But it doesn't mean they're blind. Their eyes aren't useless, they're just adjusted to low-light conditions. The world's biggest waterfall is under the ocean. Now, this one's very true. It's in the Nordic Sea. The cold seawater is denser than the warm waterfall. The drop is almost 2 miles. The smallest wasp in the world is not bigger than an amoeba. Well, this is true as well. This wasp has the same body parts as other bugs, like eyes, wings, brain, legs, and more. But it's just 0.008 inches long, which, in most cases, makes it smaller than single-celled organisms we also know as amoebas. An ostrich egg will always have several yolks. Not true. Just like a regular chicken egg, an ostrich one has just one yolk. It's pretty large, though, equal to about 24 chicken egg yolks. All dinosaurs were giants. Well, that's false. Movies show them as huge, scaly lizards, but nope. First off, there were many smaller dinosaur species, and some of them were as small as a turkey or a pigeon. Plus, some dinos, like T. rex, were even covered with feathers, especially at the early stages of their lives. Oxygen is colorless. Well, this one is true, but only partially. As a gas, it has no color, but in solid or liquid form, it has a sky blue shade. We only use 10% of our brain. Well, speaking for myself, that's true, but it's overall false. The idea about hiding incredible powers in the rest of our brain makes for a good movie, but in reality, it's different. We actually use 100% of our brain all the time. It's only that parts of it are more active than others in different circumstances. The origins of the 10% myth date back to the 1890s with Harvard psychologists William James and Boris Sidis. Lobsters taste with their feet. Okay, this one is true. Humans actually do the same sometimes. We can taste garlic with our feet, rub some of it on the bottom of your bare foot, and enjoy the taste in your mouth. The chemical that gives garlic its unique smell gets absorbed through the skin, passes through the bloodstream, and ends up in your mouth and nose. Well, I think it's a good thing that we don't have to taste everything we step in. Moving on. Apes are our ancestors. Nope. We are all primates and have some common but very distinct ape ancestor with species like chimpanzees. Still, evolution works in a more complex way than that. The family tree divides, after which each species develops in their own direction. That way, humans and apes got many distinctive features after dividing their lineage in a very distant past. Then, maybe Neanderthals are our ancestors? Myth again. Even though they lived at the same time modern humans at one point, they mostly inhabited different areas of our planet. So they're not just a stage of human development, but a different lineage. They were also pretty creative. They used fire, made tools, ate medicinal plants, cleaned their teeth, and did so many more things similar to our species. Neanderthals probably went extinct because of the harsh climate changes. The sun is yellow. Mmm, not true. This is an illusion created by the Earth's atmosphere. The true color of the sun is white, 
It all depends on the temperature. The cooler the star is, the deeper and darker it is. So the coolest stars are dark red or brown, and then there are hotter red stars. If the star is about 10,000 degrees Kelvin, it's blue. The sun is not the hottest star, so with a surface temperature of about 6,000 Kelvin, it is white. Black holes are actual holes. This is a myth. Contrary to what the name implies, they aren't empty. They are very dense objects with an extremely strong gravitational pull. Here, step into this. Whoops! If you venture into a desert, you probably still need to grab an umbrella. True. It's a common misconception that it never rains in deserts. For example, the Sonoran Desert in Arizona is probably one of the wettest deserts on Earth, with up to 20 inches of rain per year. Dogs can only distinguish black and white. Myth. Sure thing your pup won't tell the difference between maroon and purple, but dogs do see a few colors. Their dominant ones are blue and yellow. For instance, when doggies see a rainbow, it looks for them as a sequence of brownish, light yellow, gray, light blue, and dark blue. Cats need whiskers for balance. Ah, that's a myth again. Cats need their whiskers to feel what's around them, not to maintain their balance. Also, whiskers help them see and navigate, so they basically act as antenna. The Great Wall of China is the only object made by people that's visible from space. Not true. NASA photos prove that there are quite a lot of human-made objects you can see from space. There are highways, bridges, some large airports, and even the Kennedy Space Center. Goldfish have a 3-second long memory. No, but I do. Fish are actually really smart. One study showed goldfish could tell the difference between two classical songs. They're not quick learners, true, but after over 100 sessions, they did it, which wouldn't be possible if their memory could only last for three seconds. The deep sea is completely dark. Myth. Yeah, sunlight penetrates deep waters weakly, so technically we can say that below 3,200 feet, there's officially no light. However, there's another type of light down there. It's all about blue and green luminescence. It generates light thanks to an enzyme called luciferase. It breaks down high-energy molecules and produces photons in bacteria and some deep-sea fish bodies. The ostrich buries its head in the sand. Not true. The bird would most likely have big problems because of suffocation in this case. What really happens is that they lay their head and neck down against the ground. Since these parts are light-colored, they blend in, which actually explains why people think their heads are buried in the sand. Also, the Earth is round. Or is it? Well, technically, it has flattened poles, together with a bulge at the equator. That way, it has an irregular shape of an ellipsoid. Hey, remember that one for your next party conversation. Water boils when you add a bit of salt. That's a myth. It doesn't make any difference, and even if it does, it may even take longer for the water to boil. Porcupines shoot their quills. No, not quite. These quills are on their tail, sides, and back. They lay flat until the animal starts feeling threatened. But it's not their defense mechanism, since quills are rather soft to the touch. Maybe the myth occurred because these quills may detach if you touch them. A camel's hump is for water storage. No, 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 no. These humps store fat, while the extra water is stored in their bloodstream. A blue whale's tongue is so big, it can weigh as much as a full-grown elephant. Well, that's true. Yep, these fellas are huge. Also, the heart of a blue whale is almost as big as a small piano. Wait a minute, heart strings, piano strings. That must mean that blue whales can play the piano. And that's how these myths sometimes get started. You lose more heat through your head. Nah, the real reason people believe so is because when it's cold, our head is the only part we're most likely to keep uncovered. If we went outside wearing just a t-shirt, we'd lose heat through our arms. So wear a hat, guys. Meanwhile, 
If you're wearing only a t-shirt outside in winter, it's not only going to be your arms that get chilly. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side. Want to check how well you know the animal kingdom? This fun quiz will help you. You'll need to guess if the statement is true or false before I reveal the truth. Don't forget to keep the score and share it in the comments. The head of the flamingo has to be positioned upside down when the bird eats. Hmm, what do you think? Could it be possible? Yep, that's the truth. You'll always recognize flamingos by their specific position. They tend to stand on one leg in shallow waters. They have to use the bristles located on the top of their beaks when they want to filter the muddy water they accidentally take along with the actual food. That's why they eat in a way where their head goes down. Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to filter their meal properly. Do animals have fingerprints? It's true, animals do have fingerprints, but only some of them, like koalas, gorillas, and chimpanzees. The other name for fingertips is dermal ridges. They increase friction when we touch a certain surface. When you increase the size of the contact area between the surface and the fingers, it's way easier to hang on to things and have a firm, safe grip. About 5 million years ago, before primates started to move upright and left trees, they needed to have an extra strong grip. They had to leap from tree to tree without falling down or be able to grab a rock or some other tool they needed at that moment. Coolest thing though? Koalas have fingerprints so similar to those of humans, they can actually taint crime scenes. Here's a relatively easy one. Do wolves howl at the moon? Well, this one is a myth. Wolves do howl at night, but what else are they supposed to do if that's the time when they're the most active? Again, they do look up while howling, but not because they're looking at the moon, but because this helps the sound travel farther. This way, other wolves can hear them even when they're more than 7 miles away. This is how these animals communicate. Wolves even have a specific sound they use if they lose their pack. Opossums are such nice animals, and they look so cute while hanging on their tails. But do they? It's just a myth! Once this animal is completely grown, it can't support its weight for more than a few seconds. The opossum becomes too heavy and they can't use its tail this way. But these animals do use their tails for balance, to hold onto tree branches when climbing. The goldfish has a three-second memory, true or false. Although that's how they're pictured most of the time, it's a myth. These fish can actually remember stuff for months or even years. Overall, goldfish are pretty intelligent animals. If you feed a goldfish at one side of the tank all the time, it quickly learns it needs to stay on that side if it wants to get food. Also, if you show it that pushing a blue paddle will get it a reward, which is, again, food, and pressing a red one doesn't, a goldfish will learn pretty fast what to do to get its meal. When a dolphin is asleep, half of its brain is awake. Is it true or false? This time, it's not a myth. Dolphins are marine mammals, but they breathe with the help of their lungs, unlike fish that breathe through gills. Dolphins can hold their breath for a really long time, that's true, but they still need to rise up to the surface to get some air. That's why the dolphin's brain is never fully asleep. It needs to have enough motor control at every moment so that the animal is aware when it has to go up to the surface to take a breath. Dolphins also have one eye open all the time they're asleep. Parrots are selfish and greedy. They're not into sharing things with other members of their species. This is a myth. It depends on the species, but many birds, including African grey parrots, always selflessly help each other out. They're truly and honestly motivated to help others, even if other birds aren't actually their friends. Some people are sure that ghost crabs can use the small teeth they have in their mouths to growl. What do you think about this? Is it true? Well, it's a myth, but half of it is true. These crabs indeed growl, but they do it using their teeth in their stomach. They can intimidate other animals with their claws, but when that doesn't work, they produce scary sounds with the help of the teeth that are in their stomachs. They have three main teeth, two lateral and one medial, that are hard and elongated. 
and they belong to the gastric mill apparatus in the crab's stomach. These teeth also grind up food by rubbing against each other. Your dog has fewer taste buds than you do. Tick tock, waiting for your answer. It's true. It may seem that your pet has a similar dinnertime experience as you do, but in reality, these animals actually have a different arrangement of taste buds. Dogs only have 1,700 taste buds, whereas humans have close to 9,000. But they still can distinguish the same four basic tastes, and they're not fond of salt. Speaking of dogs, they are colorblind. True or myth? This time, it's a myth. A lot of people believe that dogs see in black and white, which is not true. Pooches also see blue and yellow, which kind of makes them colorblind in the same way some people are. Dogs have two types of color receptors in their eyes, while people, on average, have three types. Hens don't have teeth. There's this old saying, rare as a hen's teeth, which isn't exactly how things are in real life. Hens can grow teeth. They had chompers about 70 to 80 million years ago. Even though those are gone now, Hens still have the necessary genes, which means they can potentially regrow their teeth. If cows had stripes like zebras, flies would have avoided them. Could be or not. This one's true. Cows deal with pesky flies all the time. And zebra stripes are some kind of a natural bug repellent. It seems that the stripes work as some sort of disguise. It messes with insect vision and confuses them. Optical illusions baffle us in a similar way. Speaking of cows, do you think they're social animals or ones that prefer to avoid others and enjoy their own peaks? They're creatures with strong social ties that love being around friends. One study from 2013 showed that it was really stressful for cows to be separated from their BFFs. Aw, don't we all feel like that? The octopus has two hearts. Or does it have one, like we mammals do? Neither is correct, because the octopus has three hearts. These animals use two of their hearts to pump blood to their gills, and the third heart transfers blood to other parts of the body. If you think that's unusual, what will you say about the fact that octopuses have nine brains? Besides the central brain, they have a mini brain in each of their eight arms. This helps their arms act independently. Here's one more fact about these animals. Their blood is blue. That's because the protein in their blood that carries oxygen around the body contains copper. Octopuses can also taste with their arms and move at a speed of 25 miles per hour. Polar bears have the thickest fur of all animals. Would you agree with that? It may seem like that at first. After all, they need a lot of protection to survive in such harsh conditions. And still, this is false. The fur of the polar bear has two layers and is designed in a way that traps air right next to the skin. That's why their skin remains dry. Cool! Bulls get angry when they see the color red. True or false? You're definitely not alone if you think they get angry when someone waves something red in front of them. But the truth is, bulls are actually red-green colorblind, just like other cattle. What really triggers them is the movement, not the color. If you touch a frog or toad, you can get warts. You've probably heard it many times. Sounds a bit far-fetched? It actually is, because it's a myth. And it probably appeared because many toads and frogs have bumpy, lumpy skin. And people used to think these bumps were contagious. As for warts, they're not something animals and humans spread to each other easily. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.